Hello and welcome. We are now increasingly blase about every time when some Indian corporation notches up yet another goalpost in the global economy. But perhaps what we don't report enough is the growing Indian leadership of some of the world's best known academic institutions, like my guest today, Professor Homi Baba, who is currently the director of the very prestigious Humanities Center at Harvard University, which recently got uh, a very generous grant of $10 million from Anand Mahindra, and which is now, in fact, called the Mahindra Center for Humanities. And uh, before we begin, a disclosure is due that Homi taught me uh, many years ago at Sussex University when I was studying a master's in post-colonial theory. So there's a, a slight element of conflict of interest, <laughs> uh, but perhaps not a very deep one. I would say it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration. Ongoing yeah. collaboration. <laughs> So wonderful to see you after all these years, and uh, welcome to Bombay, which is the city of uh, your, your origins in a sense. Um, and you were already, from the last time when I met you at Sussex, you were already on your way to academic superstardom. So in a sense, the wheel has come full circle. Um, have you already started spending Anand Mahindra's $10 million? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. We will spend it after, consider after considerable thought. thought right. Uh, I think next year. Right. Um, you know, these things take a long time to go through when you have endowments and then there's payouts, etc. Right. But Anand has been very generous and given us some money for more immediate uses. And as of next year, based on various conversations and plans that I have, right. I hope we will be, you will be able to see the difference. Okay, so now tell us a little bit about this Humanities Center because the Humanities is presumably already being taught in Harvard as various disciplines, literature, philosophy, and so on. But this is a, a sort of a crossroads, you were telling me earlier, which brings together all these disciplines. You're quite right. I think um, we need to make a distinction between the humanities as a certain set of disciplines which have always been associated with the humanities. Literature, religion, uh, philosophy, classics of various cultures. Right. These are the disciplines, languages, these are disciplines we usually recognize as being the humanities disciplines. But the humanities also provide a climate of opinion or a culture of knowledge, something wider than these disciplines. And, the, and that's the way in which the humanities allow us to do three very important things in our time. One, the humanities focus very much on interpretation. How we take information and through interpretation create what we would call knowledge. Yeah. Slightly abstract idea, yeah. but I think very important, particularly now in the world of IT, information technology, yes. where you keep getting information. Right, and the methods of getting information are also changing. And the rapidly. methods of getting information are changing. So how we turn information into knowledge through the process of interpretation, that is one of the prominent values of the humanities. The humanities focuses on interpretation, just like the sciences focus on the laboratory or the social sciences on model making. Right. That's one thing. The second issue that the humanities does, the humanities is very good to, in thinking about reflecting on moral values, social values, cultural values in times of transition and how these transitions affect human life, human imaginations, human aspirations, human right. desires. That's the second area of the humanities as a larger culture of knowledge or a larger culture of opinion. And thirdly, <clears throat> the humanities are extremely important in making connections between the human sciences, the social sciences, uh, and, and the sciences, the hard sciences. Yeah. Why? Because it features interpretation and transition so centrally. 